Oh, it's time to meet up with Shilonen. Let's ask her how things have been going. Tja, wollen wir doch mal sehen. Rein theoretisch müsste sie jetzt ja da sein. Hey Shilonen, how's everything going? Oh, hi Traveler and Paimon. I have uh, bad news. Seat Lolly did not reply to our request. Although, I suppose I'm not too surprised. Huh? You mean she didn't even bother to give Kanich a response? Guess she really does have quite the ego then. Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric, though she's one of the most gifted people around. Even the Masters of the Night Wind often struggle to work with her. My guess is that she probably has other reasons for not deigning us with a response. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. If we do get a chance to talk to her in person, we can still try to work something out. That's true. Let's go! Tja, dann eben... Dann jetzt eben doch auf geht's zur Arena. Vielleicht haben wir Glück und sie ist jetzt wirklich ja da. So, mal sehen, mal sehen, mal sehen. Ach, gleich hier um die Ecke. Ist ja dann wirklich kein so langer Fußmarsch gewesen. Ihr erreicht die Arena des Heiligen Feuers. Wie erwartet, ist die Klali nicht da. Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? Well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't the subject always answer the call of their Archon? <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yes, Mawika is our leader. But that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. Das kann ich sehen. Huh. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Unlike that old hag Granny Eatstilly, right? Does she think she can ignore us just because she's famous? You all talk about her like she's some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter! Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know! If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <coughs> oh, really? So, that's how you see me? Who... who's there? Who's talking next to Paimon? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Ugh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Huh, see Lolly. Okay, hat sie ja gesagt nun das Kryo-Element? Naja, würde ja sowieso passen. Sie soll ja sowieso auch eine Mischung aus 7. März und der hohen, äh, na, hohen, hohen Wahrsagerin Fushuan ja sein. Your seat lolly? Your Granny Eatsley? Yes, Granny Eatsley. But emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. Ah, oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. The girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. Ich würde mal sagen, alles stimmt. Ja, alles stimmt wirklich. Wir sind da ja wirklich älter als die meisten hier. Oh, wipe that look off your face. You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> okay, well, don't go thinking it's a trick either. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. Did I forget to mention? She's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. Und du hast dich darüber beschwert, dass der Pyro Archon etwas ausgelassen hat. 
It was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Um... I'm on sorry. So... How old are you actually? Also, darauf wird sie sicherlich keine Antwort geben. What? How dare you! Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Uh, Paimon really didn't mean to offend you, it's just that... Uh, your case seems really... unique. Oh, Paimon just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Really, Paimon just got a little mad since we thought, well... you were gonna leave us out to dry. Hmm. <laughs> It was my idea to invite you here, Seat Lolly. So if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. <sighs> All right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going. I received Kenichi's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided to come, I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, Understood. Besides, just showing up is the most important part. No? But, of course... It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology, only to hear you all talking smack about me. <sighs> anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> Honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation anyway. What's with that expression? Was she feeling embarrassed just now? Naja, warte ich darauf, dass sie etwas sagen. Alles, was sie sagt, klang wie ein Witz, aber ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob ich lachen soll. Wäre unhöflich zu lachen oder wäre es noch unhöflicher nicht zu lachen? Schwierige Sache. Huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. Shilon erklärt das Anliegen des Pyrakons und die Schwierigkeiten oh, dabei. See. So, Maoika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. Tja, wir werden es wissen, sobald wir ihn gefunden haben. Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. Hmm. Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. Also, ich würde mal meinen, das erste bezieht sich vielleicht auf unser Abenteuer in äh oh, verdammt noch mal, wie hießen jetzt äh, sag noch die noch die zweite Stadt? Mondstadt war zuerst. Als drittes war er Sakina Zuma, was er Sakina in Anspielung sicherlich ist, mit der Donner, mit Donner und tosende Wellen flößen den sterblichen Angst ein, aber du hast den Ozean überquert. Ja. Oh, wie hieß denn jetzt, er sagt noch, die zweite. Die zweite. Das zweite Land? Verdammt nochmal, ich hab das total vergessen. Oh, weary yet free soul. Even the most verdant leaf in the forest. 
We'll pray for your happiness and safe passage. Liue! Ja, wieso bin ich auf den Namen Liue nicht gekommen? Aber sie hat jetzt auf jeden Fall eine sehr kryptische Andeutung auf unsere Abenteuer in Liue. Inazuma und dann er sagt mit den grünen Blättern und des Waldes beten für dein Glück und deine Sicherheit. Ja, ist eine Anspielung auf Sumeru. Entschuldige, was soll das alles bedeuten? Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Ja, das waren jetzt also wirklich ähm, eine kurze Zusammenfassung von Liue, Inazuma und Sumeru. Wundert mich jetzt eigentlich, dass sie weder Fontaine noch Mondstadt hier jetzt äh, sagt, eine kleine Anspielung drauf hat. Huh? Don't move. There's something here. Huh? What thing? Don't scare Paimon. Is the traveler gonna be okay? Ah, shoo! Ah, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. It's nothing as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind. And generally worse in your mood. Oh, in that case, better to get rid of them. Ja, danke. It was nothing. Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Auroron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Also, wenn ich das so richtig verstehe, dann müsste eigentlich der Orden des Abgrunds bloß den, bloß den, also den Herrscher der Nacht korrumpieren, um damit das gesamte Nattland in Dunkelheit zu stürzen. Tja, ein Unterfangen, was bisher wohl in 500 Jahren noch nicht machbar gewesen sei. Äh, uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber. And we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. But I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds good. Then we'll go with Seat Lolly to track down Aurora. Phew, the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, Just come find me. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe. All right, now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroron's place to look for clues. He has always lived alone, and I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids, which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnaian arms. Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. But why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids. He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <coughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, 
He must have done something to attract their attention. Naja, oder vielleicht ist er der wahre Körper von Capitano, dessen Seele von seinem Körper getrennt wurde und die Seele von Capitano, also die eigentliche Seele von Auroron, befindet sich in der Rüstung. Dann könnten beide sag, vielleicht ja doch eine und dieselbe Person sein. Die Seele hat sich ja sag, von dem einen Körper getrennt, aber anstelle sag, ja, dass der Körper dann quasi nur eine seelenlose Hülle ist, hat sich irgendwie ein neues Bewusstsein gebildet. Das, Gebu Gewuss äh, das Bewusstsein Ororon. Das wäre eigentlich auch eine gute Theorie. In any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But uh, please help me get him back. You can count on us. All right, then let's start by heading to where Auroron was seen last. Geh vor. So, alle Namen sind edel. Nun, wohin der Rauch zieht, untersuche die Spuren. Also, wo genau sollen wir jetzt anfangen zu suchen? Natürlich an einem Ort, wo wir jetzt keinen Teleporter aktiviert haben. Aber kein Problem. Wir werden sowieso auch einen Weg finden, da schnell hinzukommen. Wir müssen jetzt bloß erstmal den Teleporter da an der Stelle mal markieren. Dann dürfte alles weitere jetzt eigentlich auch kein Problem sein. Das einzige Problem dabei ist jetzt hier bloß... Es wäre jetzt alles viel einfacher, wenn wir jetzt auch eine Saurierverwandlung drauf hätten. Hier in der Gegend gab es doch jetzt also keine Saurierverwandlung, oder? Nein, blöderweise nicht. Und Aufzug gibt es hier auch nicht? Ich meine ja nur, das Ganze sah jetzt irgendwie ein bisschen nach Aufzug aus. Na gut, dann nehmen wir jetzt erstmal die kleinste Wand in Angriff. Natürlich hätten wir auch Kachina jetzt nutzen können. Dann würden wir natürlich viel schneller oben sein. Na gut. Ein kleinen Schritt in die richtige Richtung haben wir ja schon mal gemacht. Okay, da unten ist auf jeden Fall die Position, wo wir hin müssen. Dann ist hier oben doch sicherlich irgendwo jetzt der Teleporter. Also ernsthaft, ich habe ja noch gedrückt. Ich habe eigentlich noch für meinen Gleiter gedrückt. Was für eine Unverschämtheit. Das ist der Ort. 
An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him. Or perhaps trying to extract information. Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me, given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't Kenich say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kinda weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Kannst du uns ein wenig mehr über ihn erzählen? Auroron? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids. Living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. Wenn das alles stimmt, dann kann er kein schlechter Mensch sein. Oh well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time, and since they were disturbed, they secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Paimon doesn't see anything. Oh, right. I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Ah, uh, here. Give me your hand. How about now? What do you see? Tja, ich kann nicht die Spur sehen. Oh, Paimon can see it now too. That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the Traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. When I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to track down Auroron. Good luck, you two. Over here, this way! <laughs> See, Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is really something. Uh. What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who is as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Kann es ja sag sein, dass Sitlali auch, äh, äh, naja, nicht auch, sondern vielleicht eine zweite Persönlichkeit hat? Oder wozu jetzt die drei Fragezeichen? Wir hören doch, dass Sitlali ist. Uh, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. But given the looks on their faces just now... Na, es könnte dann aber doch so sein, dass Sidlali nicht ihr echter Name ist. Ansonsten würde sie, würden hier jetzt keine drei Fragezeichen sein. Or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Ugh. Don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old fashioned. Uh, huh? Ach so, wir hören jetzt ihre Stimme in unserem Kopf, weil sie die, ihre Sinne mit uns geteilt hat. Tja, ich glaube, ich habe gerade eine Stimme gehört. Warte, die war nicht von außerhalb. War sie in meinem Kopf?
Sprechen wir mal darüber nicht. Palmon schon die gleiche Stimme gehört zu haben. Sieht so aus, als hätte sie verstanden. Was so ist? Ah, das muss eine Nebenwirkung der Magie sein. Wir können also jetzt ihre Gedanken durch Telepathie hören. Sehr beeindruckend. Sowas kann nur Zitlali. Oh? They appear to be feeling quite confident. Looks like our work will go smoothly. Na klar, überlass es ruhig uns. Anscheinend wirkt das Ganze bloß in eine Richtung. Aber gut, wir haben... Hey, looks like there's a new camp over there. Ein Lager gefunden. Hm. Ja, judging by Paimon's experience as a guide, it definitely looks like people set up camp here. Uh, wait. The phlogist in here is a bit odd. Let me see. Uh. Paimon sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him. Fast. Uh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But... Uh, but... What if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Uh, no, I've got to be careful. Otherwise he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. Uh, no, no, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Auf Dauer wird das Ganze ein bisschen anstrengend. Auf Dauer wird das Ganze natürlich ein klitzekleines bisschen anstrengend. Die ganze Zeit ihre Stimme im Kopf zu haben. Na, mal sehen. Haben wir jetzt hier ein paar saurier Kekse zu machen? Ja, in der Tat. Backen wir ein paar saurier Kekse. Ideale Reiseverpflegung jetzt. Tja, jedenfalls ein bisschen Reiseverpflegung. Man weiß ja nie, was einen noch auf dem Weg hier erwarten wird. So, wie schon immer gesagt, so weit, so gut, so weit, so gut. Gut, ich würde mal damit meinen, wir haben jetzt genügend... F 
Verpflegung wohl gleich beisammen. Also weiter im Text. Wo ist... Ja, warte mal. Wir gehen jetzt einfach mal den nächsten Punkt auf der Karte nach. Sind wir jetzt nicht eigentlich ein bisschen im Kreis gelaufen? 